Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to demonstrate to you how to use these little markers that we see here. The arrows pointing to them and I'll just put a little graphic there and lots of people who are that little bit newer at Word often think what do they do and how do I use them. They're called the tab markers and they are used to dictate how the text appears on the page. For example, if I drag the top uh, one here, that indents just the first line. My old granny, who's now at that big white word processing centre in the sky, used to use that technique because back in her days, whenever you wrote a letter, uh, you would indent the first line. So I'll just undo that particular action, put things back where they were. The button just below this one here, which when I hover over it, it says hanging indent. If I drag that one across, it indents all of the text except the first line. So that's called the hanging indent. The reason I might do that incidentally is perhaps if I wanted to put a picture uh, or a graphic in there. So I'll undo that last action and the last little bloke, the little square that I see designed like that, that indents everything. It indents the entire paragraph. And you may well say, I'll just undo that, you may well say, look, uh, I see white space here, isn't that another paragraph? Well, no, it's not, because to move down to that line, when I was there, I simply held down the shift key and pressed the return button, or enter if you like. So shift and enter keeps you in the same paragraph, but down a line. Now, if I want to select a paragraph, the quickest way I know is to point my mouse inside the paragraph and triple click. That selects the entire paragraph. That's a really handy way. If I want to select just one word, I would double click on the word. Very handy. And here is a very handy tip. How do I select a sentence? I could drag through a sentence to select it like that being careful to include the full stop. But the problem can arise if the sentence continues on to the next page. So uh, that can perhaps create uh, uh, minor selection problems. So what I'd suggest you might want to think about doing to select a sentence is to hold down the control key and select anywhere in the sentence that you want to select. And what it does it looks for the full stop as the sentence delimiter and uh, starts from the beginning of that sentence. I'll just select, I'll click away and select another sentence for you just to prove it. Control key down. There we go. Selects a sentence. So there's a couple of handy tips. Triple click to select a paragraph. Double click to select a word. And control key down uh, and that will select you the sentence. Good. Now, particularly knowing about these little blokes here, these little markers, uh, again, if you hover your mouse over things, um, in this case, just drag it across and that will indent the first line. I can drag it back if I wish. This little bloke here, the hanging indent indents all the lines except the first line, maybe for a graphic or whatever. So we'll drag that bloke back. And this button, the square one, is the left indent. It indents all of the uh, uh, lines to wherever you release the mouse. So we'll undo that last action and put things back where they were. So there's a, a clue on how you use these little fellows here. Um, in the next uh, upload, I'll be showing you how to use the button over here, the tab, what I call the tab control button, because um, this can be extraordinarily handy again in uh, making your page 
uh, set up exactly as you want it with the uh, tabs uh, that I would see in the ruler here uh, being exactly where I want them to be. So keep an eye out uh, for that next upload. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, a, um, a thumbs up would be great and any comments of course that you would like to include. Thanks guys.